Hey everyone, welcome to Amplify Youth. If this is your first time joining us today, I just want to say thank you so much for clicking on that video description and and taking a moment to join us as we continue to reach out and get to know God and experiencing him in our lives. If this is your first time, I want to take a moment to get to know you and welcome you to the Amplify Youth family. So I'm going to be sure to include my email address in the beginning of the video as well as in the link in the description below. And also, if you haven't already, be sure to check out our social media on Instagram. We'll be posting that down below as well. Today, we're jumping into our series, Experiencing God, week number three, which is God wants to have a personal relationship with us. I just want to enter in today with some prayer. Father God, thank you so much for your word today, Lord. We pray that as we go into your word, that we just hear nothing but you that we be emptied of ourselves and reminded that, that you reach out to us just as much as we reach out, if not more. And we thank you for that, and we thank you for the opportunity to say yes to you. We love you, and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, so I want to start off today with a quick question. How many of you know what it's like to have a childhood best friend? Maybe your childhood best friend is still your best friend to this day. I have to say, me personally, I grew up, ever since I was in kindergarten, I had the best friend. And his name was Jordan. And when I tell you that we went everywhere together and we did everything together, I mean everything. If we were walking into a room, it was sure enough that one of us was going to be following behind the other. If we were going on vacations, our families took vacations together. It even got to a point to where he had his own room in my house. When he came over, it it, it wasn't just like any old friend coming over. You know, you have your friends that come and visit from time to time. They come over. Maybe you lay a sheet out on the couch for them. Maybe they stay in the room on the floor, whatever. Not the case with Jordan. Not the case with my childhood best friend. He had his own room. And more than his own room, he had his own dresser, his own clothes. He had a spot at the table. I mean, he was family. And all that came through from us getting to know each other over so long. So, I tell you that today to say this. Who's to say that our relationship with God isn't the same? As a matter of fact, if you ask me, Scripture tells us pretty clearly that it is. John 14, 1 starts off by telling us, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And it continues on in verse 2 to say, My Father's house has many rooms, If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? Now, guys, when we read this, I can't help but think about Jordan and our friendship when I was growing up. It wasn't one where it was like, yeah, man, you can come over, play play Xbox, play PlayStation, and crash on the couch and maybe go home in the morning. It was an expectation, and it was a love in the family for Jordan saying that Jordan's coming over tonight. He's going to be here in the morning. He has his room. He has his bed. And when the plates are made in the morning time, one will be reserved for him. And here's the thing. A lot of times, Jordan didn't have a way to get to us. Now, sometimes we walked. Sometimes we rode bikes. But other times, we went and picked them up. If we took the time to care and prepare that room for Jordan, we were dang sure going to make the effort to make sure he came to us. And we see that same attitude, that same love, that same passion playing out in John 14 and verse 3. It continues and says, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you may also be where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. He never forgets us. Just like me and my family never forgot Jordan in his house, we never forgot that if he needed a place to stay, he had a place to stay. We never thought for a second that he wouldn't be with us. We never stopped making the bed or preparing the clothes or making the table. We knew that he was going to be there, even if it meant traveling a long way to make sure he was. 
But sometimes Jordan didn't know. He felt like a burden. He, he, he didn't know that we were willing to have him there at that time. And we see that played out. John 14, verse 5 says, Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? But Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. See, we didn't get to the place of the bedroom being set up by just happenstance. My parents did not decide to set aside a bed in the house that we had. And guys, I have to be honest, it wasn't a very big house, but we made room. We didn't get that way by seeing him walking through the schoolyard one day and saying, man, we're going to give him a room. No, we got that way through a relationship, through a friendship, by getting to know one another, by getting to experience it, what it was like to feed off of one another, to experience life together. That is when we set aside the room. James 4, 8 tells us, come near to God and he will come near to you. See, guys, a lot like that relationship with my childhood best friend and possibly your childhood best friend as well, it all started out by drawing near. And I can't think of a better way to have drawn near by, than God putting on flesh and bone and coming down here, as he says in John 14, when we look at Christ, we are looking at the physical representation of God. He put on flesh and bone so that he may know us. Scripture tells us that he knows the number of hairs on our heads. He came down from the throne and served and lived among us so that we may have the personal relationship with him. But rather than pry, God allows us to draw nearer to him. That way we may experience his love and know that love that it truly takes to set aside a room in the Father's house. Father, we thank you so much for your word today. Lord, we just pray that as time goes forward that we remember the relationship that you set aside for us. And also, Lord, that we remember the room that has been set and reserved for us. For you, your son died for us and said that he, came, he went to prepare a room in his father's house. And Lord, we just know that that is done out of passion and love. And we thank you for that today. And we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week.